Hello there my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode we defeated Cinnabar Gym Leader Blaine. In today's episode, now that we have seven badges and talk to that mysterious fellow Blue who was up around this island, we can actually make our way to Viridian City and take him on. Before we do that, as you can see, we've actually leveled up quite a bit. Zuko went up to 58, Velos is 59, Sokka is 57, Dan is 58, Aqui is 58, Glamis is 59. So they've all gone up a couple levels. They've also learned a couple new moves, like I've taught Velo Sludge Bomb, I've had Sludge Bomb for a while, you know, we got that a while back if you guys remember, so you know, I went ahead and taught that to it, uh, Zuko learned Double Edge, and you know, just a couple moves here and there, nothing too crazy, uh, Sokka did learn Mega Horn, the first bug type move, so that's definitely gonna come in very handy, as I know a lot of you guys wanted us to have that move a long time ago, but we finally just got to that level, okay, the old man moved out of the way now, he said, how was it? Were you able to battle the leader? Yes, we were. Okay, but today we're going to be heading inside of Viridian City's Pokemon Gym, taking on the leader Blue, who we know who it is, and it says the rest of the text is still legible. We'll have to tell him, you know, he needs to fix that sign up a little bit once we make our way inside, and oh, here we are. Yo, legend in the making. The floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym leader is the guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Get it everything you got. All right, we're going to have to give it everything we have. It looks like one of those sliding puzzles. I am actually going to look very carefully to see where exactly it is we need to go. I think the first one is here. I think these tiles uh, that, are just, that we're standing on right now, uh, we don't get affected by anything. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see where else we need to go from here. This can get tricky. So, you know, I'm going to take my time figuring out exactly where it is I want to land. Uh, I think it's this one because it leads us to another one of these. Okay, okay, I think I'm doing, I think I'm doing this correctly. Let me see if I can figure this out uh, one more time. Uh, this tile will lead us left. The one upwards will lead us right down. Yes, yes, it's this one then. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Look at me looking good at puzzles. Woo! Seems like I'm actually learning something from playing uh, Pokemon. Okay, there seems to be another spot here that we can actually do it. This puzzle is actually quite easy. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, we were actually doing really good work of it. Okay, now we can either go up here or we can go here or we can go there. I, I don't know where we should go. Um, let's take this one. Let's take the middle one up so we can actually see where we need to go. And we have a doubles battle. Okay. But now, as you can see, over there on the right side, that's where we need to go. It says, Amida, next to me is Ellen. Together, we're a double team. Oh, great. Here we go. Let's take on these lovely couples and let's whoop their butts once and for all. All right. We are challenged by double team Ellen and Ida here in this gym. Porygon 2 and Azumarill. Well, Velos is good to have out, but I definitely need to get Zuko out of here. Zuko... Gonna, gonna take some hard damage as you can see even these guys Pokemon around level 50 That's why I thought it would be a better strategy for us You know if we trained up a little bit because I know this battle is gonna be tough uh, So, you know, we're, we're gonna have to see what we can do uh, today I am gonna go for the dark on this there we go and sludge bomb will come in handy eventually I'm actually pretty glad we picked that move up uh, I actually do have another move in mind which I didn't go and you know teach it to Glamis yet uh, I was thinking since I have the TM Dragon Pulse that I should actually go ahead and teach that to Glamis I'm not sure if I should though. I don't know. Will it be better than Dragon Rush? Let me know what you guys think. All right, the first Porygon went for a Trick Room. Wh what does that do? It twisted the Dimensions. Ooh, that sounds sounds tricky. I'm gonna go for a Fly, and we're gonna hit this Porygon with everything we have. It went for the Protect. It's okay. It's okay. I wasn't I wasn't using that on you. I was. Wait. I'm pretty sure Protect uh protects both of them, doesn't it? No? Okay, cool. Awesome. I thought it did. I thought for some magical reason it was going to protect Azumarill as well, but Azumarill should be down with this Thunderbolt, and I think we're actually doing some some decent work. All right, Azumarill is down. Um, I am going to go for the fly, as you guys know, but will it even be needed now? Velos grew to level 60. Fantastic. Yeah, Velos actually was the one that I did a lot of training with, uh, you know, to get all the others up. Uh, you guys will ask me where I train. You know, guys, there's plenty of places to train. I would recommend uh, like really good areas like the highest level grassy areas or the elite four are probably the two best ways to train in the game uh, for you guys who are wondering. All right, we went for the fly. We're going to see if we're able to do it. For some reason, Shadow Ball didn't work on this thing. Let's hope we can take it down now. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. All right, let's go for the double kick, and we are going to go for another bite. And I'm sure this Pokemon will finally be... It went for a protect. All right, you're only going to protect yourself from one of these. Because the... are you kidding me? It protects itself from both the moves. Well, isn't that something special? 
Uh, it's going for a try attack I actually remember having this move back in the day. I used to use this move a lot in like Pokemon Yellow. Uh, try attack it actually used to be like really, really powerful back then. Uh, for some reason, I really like to do it or use it, so I don't know why. Uh, I used to do it so much. But there we go! Porygon is down, and woo! Now we can actually take a breather and maybe make our way to the gym leader. Thank you, twinsies, whatever, dudes. Gets out of my way, because now we need to figure out how the heck uh, we get back to it. Okay, we can go down here, up, and there we go! I need to head up this one, I'm pretty sure, and that is going to lead us to the gym leader. Look at me looking like I know what I'm doing. Let me go ahead and check my bag. I'm pretty sure I should heal up my Pokemon at least a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous because, honestly, I don't have uh, that many potions and stuff to use. Let me see who I need to heal up before this battle. Oh, man, we have Den and Velos who are injured. Woo! We might be going into this battle. No hyper potions. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to this battle, no hyper potions, all fingers crossed, and, you know, let's just hope for the best. Uh, we might have a revive here and there, ready to go, but it's going to be one tough battle. You know, he's going to have his full restores. I'm not really going to have a whole lot, but we're going to go ahead and do this. I did get a tip from you guys to put Sokka up in front, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we are ready to take on Blue. Here we go. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Ha ha ha! Hey, Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Here we go! Rodri versus Blue! Purple versus Blue! Here we go! This is a battle for the ages. We are challenged by Leader Blue. He is Viridian City's Pokemon Gym Leader. We are ready to take him on. He's got a variety of types, so this is going to make for one exciting battle. Let's go for the Mega Horn right away. The move we learned just a little bit ago from training should come in very handy against this Executor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be super effective, so we should be able to get some good hits on it. Look at that! A crit! It's super effective, and it is down. I'm pretty sure we would have took it down anyways, even if it wasn't a crit. We gained a good amount of XP, and next up, it's Pidgeot. All right, I am going to send out Den for Pidgeot. I think Den's going to be, you know, very, very handy in this. We're, we're going to see how it all turns out. I'm not too sure all the Pokemon that Blue has, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. All right, Blue send out Pidgeot, level 60. This must be its highest level Pokemon. You guys told me that its Pokemon go up to level 60, so I'm guessing this is its highest. If, if there's one over that, things might get a little bit tricky. All right, we went through the Thunderbolt, and we KO'd it too. Super effective. That is two Pokemon. We are two for two. Oh, we are doing great. Okay, Rhydon is going to come out, uh, and I am going to send out Aqui now. Aqui should be able to handle this Rhydon quite nicely. We're about to see if we can actually do it. Woo! All right, this battle's heating up. Things are getting exciting. Very exciting here. Rhydon is level 58. Wow, that, that is pretty high level. I'm glad we trained our Pokemon up. I guess it, this will be a pretty even battle considering its Pokemon are pretty close to my level. And uh, it's pretty cool that this Pokemon trainer actually has six Pokemon. So we don't have to diddle dwaddle around about it. All right, right on. You're going to use that Earthquake on me? Really? You're going to pull that stun on me? It's not going to do a whole bunch, dude. I'm a ground type. Let's let, bring it. You know what? Bring it. Uh, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to keep going with the Waterfall. Blue has used his first full restore. Okay. We'll see how many full restores he has. Hopefully not as many as Blaine. Blaine pretty much bought all the full restores from Cinnabar Island. We couldn't do much to him after all that. All right, we're going to go for another waterfall here. Let's hope that we can actually get it close to that again. If we could actually lure out all of Blue's full restores, that would be really great for us. And, you know, if it comes down to it, I'll do it. Doesn't seem like he wants to use another one. He knows he's getting whooped right now with this ride on, so he's just going to let it go down. And there we go. Right on is down. It is super effective. We are doing some major work here and gaining a lot of XP at the same time. Machamp is going to come out. You know what? I'm actually thinking of keeping Aqui out. Yes, yes. I got a strategy in my head. I have some crazy strategies going on. I know Machamp can get deadly, so I'm actually going to throw out a Yawn first, and then we're going to go ahead and switch out. If we can tank this out, I don't know if we'll be able to. I, we might not. We did, and we are confused. No. Please, not a confusion. Aqui, pull yourself together. We need you to land this yawn. We hurt ourselves in our confusion. That one hurts. That one hurts quite a bit. Um, you know what? There's not much we can do right now. Hope for the yawn and hope that no other Pokemon are really going to need to go up against, uh, you know, water type. Because if something like that happens, uh, we're going to be in some trouble. All right, Velos is out. We are ready to send out our flying type to go up against this Machamp. Let's go for the Fly! Yes, that is what's going to be most effective on it. But if you saw earlier, the move it used 
Stone Edge. Yes, that is what I did not want to see. The move we used on Aqui is Stone Edge. That can pretty much KO us. And if you guys remember, we're out of Hyper Potions. We're pretty much just hoping that our moves are going to be more super effective on him than they are on us. And, you know, we're going to see. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? We left it with one freaking HP. And now we are getting downed. Okay. Wow, 1 HP, Velos is down as well. We're gonna send out Glamis. Now the battle's heating up. It really shows you that, you know what? You can't take it all for granted. I'm guessing he's gonna heal up. And there we go, great prediction. Went for the full restore. Good thing we have Glamis that also has wing attack, which you guys remember we actually learned in the last episode. So very good that we managed to learn that move. Uh, I was actually thinking of not learning it, but it seems to have come in very, very handy. We're gonna go with another wing attack. And that should pretty much take down this Machamp, leaving Blue with two Pokemon, I think? I guess we'll find out right here. Alright, Machamp is down. Oh my goodness, this battle is intense, and Gyarados is going to come out. I know how to handle myself a Gyarados. We're going to send out our Den. Den is going to have to handle this Gyarados. Uh, we've actually had to go up against one before with a champion. Uh, so if you guys remember, we, we pretty much know what we need to do here, and it's going to be... Then spamming its Thunderbolt. So let's go ahead and do that right now. That should pretty much take it down. Is it going to do it? All right. Here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Heart of the cards. Can we do it? We should be able to do it. KO'd. All right. Gyarados is down. Blue is left with one Pokemon. The Battle of Colors. Who will come out on top? Den grew to level 59. Uh, Leader Blue is going to send out Arcanine. Okay. All right. Arcanine. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Who... Let's send out Zuko. Let's do some fire on fire action. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what we can end up with. This is going to be something special here. Something, something special. All right, Arcanine is level 58. <laughs> You're prepared for this. We'll knock you down. Okay, bring it on, dude. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it cut our attack. That is not good. I am going to go for the Swift. Uh, we'll see how much damage the Swift does on it. I'm not too sure about the moves Arcanine has, but if he uses some fire types move on us, we should be okay. Dragon Pulse. Wow! It's Arcanine Nose Dragon Pulse. That is absolutely uh, ridiculous. I will go for the double edge now and hope that it does some damage. Uh, Arcanine, a little tougher than you'd expect. Uh, keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. And Arcanine is just going to keep throwing out the Dragon Pulse. And it's looking like I might actually have to switch out Pokemon in order to do this. Wow! All right, you know what? We're going to have to go for the double edge. And we're going to have to sacrifice Zuko because I'm a little bit worried since Aqui is down that who knows who will be able to take down this Arcanine. We're hit with a little bit of recoil. Arcanine went for the Flare Blitz. It is a fire type move, but we are so low that I'm pretty sure it's going to take me down. And it did. Arcanine is almost down though. Now we really need to figure out who the heck is going to step it up and take it out. All right, Den. We're going to send out Den. We're going to keep Den out. Now that it's weekend, I'm thinking we might be able to do it right here. Perhaps I'm the one who was unprepared. Maybe you were, and we're about to find out right here. We're going to go for the Thunderbolt. And all fingers crossed here. Let's see if the Thunderbolt will be able to take down this Arcanine. Hopefully it does. And it has done it. There we go. Arcanine is down. That is the last of Blue's Pokemon. We defeated Leader Blue. This is the real power of Johto. We got 19,200 for winning. No way. How the heck did I lose to you? T all right. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. We received the Earth Badge from Blue. That is the eighth out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. No more to go. With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM move Rock Climb. Here, take this as well. We obtained TM92. It contains Trick Room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? Hence the name. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You were a good trainer, but I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. We will not forget that at all, Blue, and we will be looking forward to it. Okay, we have defeated the last gym leader of Kanto. With that, we are at 16 badges, 8 from Johto, 8 from Kanto, none left to go. From here on out, our adventure is going to get crazy, and it seems like we're getting a phone call. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. 
All right, thank you. See you later, Professor Oak. So it seems like Professor Oak has something to give us, a present of sorts, and we'll have to figure out exactly what that is. Okay, guys, now that we've gone ahead and done that, let me know what we should do next. I know there are still some legendaries to catch, maybe a couple things here and there that we need to take care of, so let me know what we should do. I love hearing your tips. They're always handy, they're always helpful, and you're, they're always welcome. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.